first shot. Oh, he dropped it, he dropped it. Drop. So now we're gonna be talking about the three fish I would recommend for this year, 2018, that you must try. One, two, three. Happy, Happy New Year! Year! Happy 2018! 2017 was awesome. Yeah, we did a lot. We did like a lot of weird product reviews, like the chum bucket rig, the self-setting rod. We broke a lot of stuff. Oh! 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 But 2018 is gonna be even better because this year we're focusing on you guys. We wanna help as many people as possible hook up on their first fish, hook up on more fish. We wanna help you guys get on some more fish this year. That's what we're focusing we're on. We're also, we're, we're primarily gonna be focusing on beach fishing and saltwater fishing this year. Now I understand that not everyone here is from the East Coast. A lot of you guys are international. A lot of you guys are from the West Coast. But a lot of these fishing methods will apply. It's, it's not, just because because it's not the same fish, doesn't mean the techniques won't work for the fish in your area. Get your surf fishing rods and get ready because this year is going to be awesome. Today we're going to help you guys out by showing you three kinds of fish that we really think you should try targeting in this next coming year. Starting with number one, the blue fish. The blue fish are freaking crazy. Okay, let me tell you. I know a lot of people call them junk fish, but they are the number two fish to catch besides uh, stripers in, in this area right here. Um, we caught a lot of bluefish in the Delaware Indian River Inlet during the springtime last year. Um, and that's in a few months coming up. Um, so get your rods ready because the bluefish are coming soon. And they're pretty easy to catch. What you really need is something shiny, a little shiny metal lure, or a bucktail, or cut bait. Bluefish are vicious and they'll really hit anything that's in front of them as long as it's either shiny or it smells like fish. Biggest blue I think I've ever caught. <laughs> All right, number two. So after the springtime, it's getting pretty hot. It's actually getting really hot out. Like too hot for a lot of fish to bite. Yeah, like too hot for a lot of the big fish to be around. However, shark fishing is gonna be really great this year. So the summer heat, a lot of the sharks in Florida are real close into the surf. And uh, we discovered this last year. We were seeing so many sharks on the surf um, that it was, it was just like shooting fish in a barrel. So we were in Florida and we met these two dudes who, who were pretty good at shark fishing. We had never shark fished before and they showed us how to do it and it was freaking awesome. And we want you guys to try this as well. There you go, there you go, real, 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 real. There you go. No, 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 no. Real, real. He got it, he got it, let him go, he got it, he got it. There you go, shark. Ready, go, real, baby, let's go. You got a shark on, baby. We got a shark on. No, 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 real, only real. There you go, go follow him, follow him, follow him. Follow him down the beach. There you go, baby, you got a shark on. It feels like I'm hooked onto a small car right now and it's taking me for a ride. The only chance I have is letting it fight and reeling in the slack. When fighting big fish, it's a game of tug of war. If you pull too hard, the line will snap. The shark is driving me down the beach and towards the inlet. Bring him in! Oh, Come to Sebastian for <laughs> Careful, careful! We did it! Woo! Our first black tip. Uh, now the hard part about shark fishing is you need to have the right equipment or a shark's power will literally strip your reel and snap your line. So one, learn how to properly handle a shark so you don't hurt the shark and you don't hurt yourself. Two, if you haven't done shark fishing ever before, go with someone else, preferably who has done shark fishing before. And three, Make sure you have heavy, strong gear because sharks are strong. In. Let's put it back in. Yeah. How do you how do you unhook this? Oh, Get you in the nuts? No. It's a, I feel these. I feel a lot of time. <laughs> Just pull the nose up if you could. No. Yeah, like this? You're good. You're good. Yeah, there you go. Right there. Oh my God! Look at his teeth. Get that GoPro in there. Has anyone watching this ever caught a shark? Because this was our first time. There you go, baby. Black tip. Nice. All right, hotel. Get, let's get it back. Tail him back in. Hold this. Ready? 
Be careful, be careful. Get him out there to the surf. Get him out there to the surf. Okay, number three. The third fish that I would recommend this year is during the fall slash winter time. Mm -hmm. It's getting cold right after the summer. Um, it's a fish called the tog or the black fish. This fish is pretty fun to catch. It's honestly one of my favorite fishes to catch because they bite so frequently. <laughs> Yay! Wow. Okay. Right, okay. Nice, look at that hook set. Let me see. Perfectly. Right through the cheek. Wow. The hard part about tog fishing is not getting them to bite, but getting them up. Because as soon as they bite your sand flea, they'll run themselves into under a rock or they'll run themselves into the coral and snag you up. So what you really need is a fast reel and a powerful rod, a long rod, that you can just yank them straight up and reel. Mm -hmm. Check out our videos. Okay, this is why I like using sand fleas. It is, they're very quick. You don't have to cut them up. You just take two of them, put it on the hook. One, <coughs> two. <coughs> you don't need to cut it and trim it. It's not messy. And it's a lot quicker. Oh, that was very fast. Well, let's see if they bite. Right. Let's see which one gets more bites. What's that? Oh, it snagged me up. It was quick though. See, they're hiding. They're they're hiding in, in like under rocks, basically. They see the bait, they take it, and then they run back under the rock and snag you up. That's a big one. hook set. I hooked it on the first bump like you said, Gage. Oh, look. And he would have got you snagged, but your weight broke off. So these three fish are just suggestions as to what you should try. I had a ton of fun catching these fish, and I really think that these fish are, are relatively easy to catch. You gotta put a little bit of time into it, but it's not, it's not something that's impossible to do, especially if you're on the East Coast. For those of you who are international or who are from not from the East Coast, um, let us know what kind of fishing you do. A lot of these fishing methods that we talk about are not just for the East Coast and they're universal for all beaches around the world. Um, so just because we're talking about fish that you haven't seen or heard before, doesn't mean the techniques will not work. In fact, I, I, I think that the techniques will still work all around the world. Let us know the kinds of fishing that you like to do. Are you primarily fishing on beaches? Are you fish? Where are you fishing? So our goal is not only to help you guys grow as fishermen, but as influencers. There's a lot of people who are subscribed to our channel who have their own YouTube channel and they're trying their best to reach as many people and help them learn about fishing themselves. Now, it's not an easy task. It's something that really requires a lot of thinking and a lot of strategy. Um, so we have compiled together a free PDF on to show you guys how to grow your own YouTube channel and start influencing your own crowd and community for yourself. Yeah, that's what we're all about is getting people to go outside, go explore. So you can get this PDF that we created um, at the link below. Yep, check the link below. You can get a free PDF. 
But if you really, really are serious about this and you've been thinking, I really need to explode my channel this year, I really want to explode my channel this year, we have a step-by-step -step guide that will take you through our entire process and um, it's, it's really, really beneficial. If you're interested in creating your own videos and really growing a big community, check out this step-by-step -step guide. Thank you guys for watching. We love you guys and we'll see you next week.